Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Romans, Romans chapter 10, verse 10. Familiar passage of scripture. And it reads, For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I like this verse because it tells us how we are saved. And you might have people out there that would say that, is it that simple? Is it really that simple? All I have to do is confess Christ. Well, it, not only do you need to confess him, but you also need to believe. For it is our belief that determines the righteousness for one believes unto righteousness. And while we can't judge the heart of another person, you know that God can. You can't hide from God. You can fake it and fool other people, but you're never going to fool God. So he knows your heart. He knows if you really have accepted and believe that Jesus is the Christ, that he is Lord. And not only, what do we believe? Verse 9 tells us what we believe about Jesus. Not only that he is the Son of God, that he is the Christ, that he paid our sin debt and he died on the cross for our sin, but God raised him from the dead, that he satisfied the sin debt once and for all, and the righteous judgment of God has been satisfied, and his sacrifice is acceptable unto God the Father on our behalf. And for us believing in him, God counts our belief in him that he done this for us, that it is counted uh, as righteousness unto salvation for us. Look at the previous verse. I have to include verse 9. I mean, they really just, they go together. And verse 9 says, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You have to believe in the resurrection. I don't know about folk running around talking about they don't believe in the resurrection. If you don't believe in the resurrection, then you're still, your faith is futile. You're still in your sin. You believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The word of God for the people of God. God has made it so level at the cross <laughs> that you don't have to go through prophet or priest or preacher to be able to get to God. You can call it in the next verse. You can call upon that all that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can call upon the name of the Lord for yourself. <laughs> you got to go to God be the glory for the great things that he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse or these verses and let it just be a word of encouragement to you today to know that God has made a way, made a way that we might be saved, made a way that we might be with him in eternity and glory. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would enjoy your weekend. Uh, the day is served. Remember, Sunday is coming. So uh, go to church uh, or online or however you do it, but make sure that you spend time in fellowship and worship of Almighty God. And next week, I won't be here. Reminder, I won't be here. I'm going to be on vacation uh, the 1st of November through the 6th of November. That, that does not mean you don't stay in your Bible, in the Word of God each and every day. And if God's willing, we'll see you back here on the following Monday, November the 8th, and we'll begin, begin, we'll pick up again wherever we're at, November the 8th. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. Amen. Amen.